Good afternoon. My name is Tony with Vision Engraving and Routing Systems. I'm coming to you from the InstaVision uh, virtual demo showroom here in Phoenix, Arizona, which is where the home of our factory is located. Uh, this afternoon we're going to talk about how to take a pre-screened tag and put data from an Excel file uh, into the pre-screened locations. To do this, what we're going to work with is we're going to work with the Vision VE810. Now this particular machine has an 8 inch by 10 inch working area and also has the ability in, to have a deep self-centering vise in addition to the flat table. So it makes it a pretty um, makes it a pretty versatile machine. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use a pre-screen tag and we're going to set up the tag in the software and then we're actually going to utilize this blank tag uh, and engrave it. So you can see that there's my blank and then there's an example of one that's that's already been engraved. So this is a, a piece of aluminum uh, is what the, the tag construction is, which means that we're going to use a non-rotating diamond uh, to be able to do this process. So the overall system parameters of the VE810 uh, is about 15 inches by about 17 inches by about 10 inches. Uh, the controller for the system is located in the tray, so this is one complete unit. Now this particular machine is fully capable to do uh, metal engraving like we're talking about, also to do plastic engraving, uh, to do uh, glass, to do wood, uh, to do acrylic, to do plastic, many different types of substrates. And you just basically set the machine up appropriate for whatever the type of the material happens to be. Now what's nice about any of the Vision systems is that the Vision machine combined with the Vision Pro software that we utilize allows you to either do one piece or as many of those pieces as will fit on the surface area of your table. So in an instance where we were doing lots of these particular tags, what we would do is we would place them in such a way that we would lay multiples out of those particular pieces. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come over and look at the software. So the first step in this process to be able to engrave this tag is to take a scanned image uh, of the pre-screen tag. So you can see that my blue and silver tag here is actually done uh, just as on a flatbed scanner, and then I import it into our Vision Pro software. So the Vision Pro software allows you to then take and measure each of these particular boxes and create them as text boxes. So you can see that the different boxes have different sizes depending on what they are, and each one of them has different uh, data that's going to go into them. So what I've done is I've named them the same as what their actual title is so that I'm just going to merely use these as placeholders. So my next step in this process is to select my information here, and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to use my multiples. And what this does is this allows me to do text substitution. So in this case, I'm going to tell it I only want to do one tag. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these pieces here that need to be swapped uh, with my data. So in my text sub substitution field, I select all of my fields that I want to import. And then I come down here and I click Browse. And then I pick that particular file. And then once I pick that particular file, then I say open. And then when I say OK, it's actually taken now and it's imported all the data and the data out of my Excel file. Each particular column or each particular text box that you have here is a row and a column. So you can see that the size, set, type, capacity, serial number, those are all areas located within my tag. So when I click OK, what it's going to do is it's going to substitute that information into that particular piece. So if I zoom in here, what you'll see is that it's laid out multiples and the data changes. So five two, so four five six dash two, and then if I come down here, four five six dash three dash four dash five and so on and so forth, as well as every of those all of the rest of that information that needed to be serialized or needed to be changed based on that data file is being changed. 
So now what we're going to do is we're only going to do the one tag. So I'm going to go ahead and switch gears here, and I'm just going to select that top tag. And then I'm going to zoom in on that guy, and we're going to take a look and make sure that our data is there. Now, keep in mind that this is an actual representation of where the engraving is going to go. But if you think, if you remember back that we had that scanned image behind it, so these, the location of this information is located on top of those text boxes. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to select the information that we want to engrave, which is just all this alphanumeric information down here. So coming over to the machine, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my machine up, and I'm going to take my blank tag, and I'm going to take my take and place that in the upper left-hand corner of that particular location, and then we'll just get our settings here set so we're ready to go. Now we're utilizing a material called multi-mat, and what multi-mat is 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 basically a two-sided tacky mat and that's what allows me to hold my tag in place. So you can see that that tag is staying where it needs. So we basically just put the multi-mat onto the table, push it down a little bit, and then that's actually going to what's going to hold our tag. And again, if I was doing several of these like you saw in my layout, I would merely lay out tags next to it until I filled up uh, the table. In this instance, as I mentioned, we're only just going to do the one. Okay, so now that we have our text um, selected that we want to be able to engrave. I'll do that one more time. So this is my upper left hand tag that we're going to work with and the information that's in blue is what we're going to engrave. I'm simply going to come over to my uh, engrave icon and tell the machine that I'm going to engrave and I'm going to use a diamond drag. So that's a non-rotating diamond. And I'm just going to double check some settings here and make sure that it's good to go. And it looks like it is. So we'll go ahead and send that over to the machine, and then I'll zoom you in on the location of where it's going to do its engraving, and then I'm merely just going to start that job, and the machine is going to locate those boxes based on the file, and it's automatically substituted the data based on our text file. So now what we're using here is what we call a three-stroke font. So it's actually going to make three lines for each individual character. We do that because it gives it a little bit more, uh, makes it a little bit wider stroke so that it's easier to read. And if you think about these tags, they're going to be mounted to whatever the part is for years and years and years. So you want to make sure that you make a nice permanent mark, which is why we use the diamond, and then that allows it to be able to, uh, to be legible for many, many years. The permanent mark is in place so that you would actually have to take a grinder uh, to be able to remove that, uh, that information. Now while that's engraving, let's talk a little bit about some of the other uh, functions uh, of this particular system. Now the 810 and all the vision systems are what we call rotary engravers which means that we're going to do one of two things. Either we're going to use a diamond tip stylus, and the stylus is going to drag in the material, or we're going to use a rotating cutter. And if we use a rotating cutter, that's what we use when we're cutting different types of plastic or wood or other types of, uh, of material. So I will zoom in here, and then you can see the actual uh, tool itself. Now, when you're cutting plastic, you need to have some sort of way to be able to remove uh, the plastic as you cut it. And that's what you see here is this hose. Uh, that could be connected simply to a, a small shop vac, and, it be, and it's able to remove the information, uh, or I'm sorry, remove the plastic as you cut it. So in an instance where you're doing several of a particular t piece, like a plastic tag, the machine will not only do all of your alphanumeric engraving, but as you can see, it will actually go back and cut those pieces out. Now the advantage to, uh, to utilizing that three-stroke font is that it makes it for a little broader character. Um, one disadvantage is that it's going to repeat the character because it's going to make uh, you know, more than one stroke on each time. So it does take a little bit longer, but the nice part is, is that it's very legible and you can read it no problem. 
So now that that particular piece is, is done, we'll go ahead and pop that guy up there. And let me wipe it off here so we know it's good and clean. And then we'll zoom in on that guy, which, and then we'll take a look at the actual information that's on there. So I'm going to play with the lighting here just a little bit. So then I may use that, use this piece here to sort of shade it. There you go. Actually, it was better. So I'll sort of shade the fluorescence there. And when you zoom in there, you can see that all the text is located in the appropriate spot. And it's all serialized based on that data file uh, that we selected. So it's an easy process to make one particular tag or to make several tags and be able to import your data out of Excel uh, and create uh, you know, the, the pieces that you need to do. This process is consistent whether it's, it's stainless uh, or aluminum. Um, and there's lots of different types of materials, as we said, you can work with. You can work with plastic, you can work with metals, you can work with glass, you can work with wood. Those are all viable uh, material types that you can utilize with any of the vision systems, and specifically with uh, the one in this case, which is the VE810. So this is designed just to sort of give you a snapshot of how we would lay out the software. Uh, and then be able to also engrave uh, uh, a pre-screened asset tag. Um, real quickly, I'll zoom you in uh, on uh, an example where we let the machine do all of the engraving, and that allows you to, you know, you don't have to buy pre-screened tags. You can let the machine do the entire process. I'll grab one here, and I'll show you. actually on my on my other board here so here's an example of one uh, that was done where we allow the machine to do all of the engraving just starting with a blank uh, black anodized piece uh, another pretty common application uh, in an industrial setting is there's wizards built into the software to be able to do dials and uh, you can see that they did all the alphanumeric information and then also cut it out as well. So lots of options on that uh, VE810. Uh, if you have any specific questions about your application, uh, please contact us at 888-637-1737, or you can contact us uh, international at 602-439-0600. Thank you for time and learning about the Vision VE810 and how to run through uh, utilizing a pre-screen tag uh, and utilize the Vision Pro software and a data file um, from Excel to be able to, uh, to populate the data on your tag. Thanks so much.